Hey everybody, welcome back to more Early Mutations. I'm Hunter AFI and we are taking care of week 137, well trained on Oblivion Express. This week is unique. Um, a lot of it isn't exactly the toughest pot things in the world, but it consistently requires a decent amount of attention paid uh, because what ends up happening a lot of times is if you kill the wrong units too quickly, or um, like Kerrigan's gonna mobilization wave, sometimes you can be left with the largest and most painful units left, and you really have to be aware of which ones to basically be killing afterwards. And you know, if you have a bunch of Avenged Liberators, those can really wreck Kerrigan. All, all sorts of little things can happen all over the place, so you just gotta be very careful and just be as hyper focused as you can on everything. Uh, we're going to see if it's Terran or Protoss, because we know it's not Zerg because of the minimap. But we'll go ahead and see what we have to deal with here, and um, we'll make the right decisions. If it ends up being a comp that's going to have a lot of really powerful units at the end, not like a gateway comp or anything, my partner's probably going to go for Vega to, to mind control all those units to save us a lot of hassle. If it's anything else, he might go for Nux um, at a certain point. Um, he definitely wants to get Rattlesnake. He definitely wants to get a few other things that really help here. But in the end, we got to just base it on what we deal with, not just what we want to do. I would love to go for Mutas, but more times than not, Mutas are not going to be the best here. Uh, Lings have their place in this army. But I'd like to have them be more for... Uh, backwards or uh, and behind my front attack line defense as opposed to something that is um, up in everything's face uh, again depending on the comp but most likely I don't want to just throw away my throw away my links constantly so we'll have to see exactly what we're dealing with as per usual for any week get my lair evolution chamber and then we'll get two sets of links to pull some aggro away from my main but we'll see what happens there i do like to have all of my army on its own control group and then kerrigan on her own control group it does help to create a lot of good situations where you can micro your army and not have to worry about kerrigan doing stupid things or vice versa your army doing stupid things while you're just trying to get kerrigan to do what you really want her to do Really want to get this economy done as fast as possible here. Okay, so I need to be a little careful here. All of my armies over here, so I'm thinking all going to be coming for me over there. Get my. Oh wow, right on top of my army. Deal with this. Now this is where <laughs> having uh, Bane Links would be amazing, but it, you, you can't you can't have Bane Links as um, Kerrigan, so that's not a thing. I'm gonna leave these Zerglings in the back. So they can passively do a lot of damage to the trains. We'll get my last upgrades as for Kerrigan. Last couple drones over there. We want to get to economy super fast. Gases need to be done over there. Really important that I get as much assimilation ores as possible. What I really want to do here is get to ultralisks, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Last of that, one, two, three, one, two, three. Those. 
There's the other one. Some other ones. One or two more of these. Of the economy I want, so that's good. We're working on getting Train number two, so the next attack wave is going to be coming from well, a mobilization wave. I'm going to wait until he gets a little closer. Great comp for me, though. What's nice here is like all of my upgrades automatically lend themselves well if I just go for lings and, and ultralisks. They There's no point in sitting on a mobilization wave to be honest. So the next attack wave is going to be coming from here. I want to be a little careful here. I feel like I should be able to actually get the bonus, but I want to wait a little bit. We have some time because there's going to be an attack. Um, Gonna be an attack. Also wanted to be here for this, so. That's okay. set of trains coming.
Yeah. Great comp for both of us. Great comp. Like, really, really good. Alright, so we need to come back up here. I'll get over there in a second. Oh, come on, Kerrigan. No, no. Oh, damn it, Kerrigan. Train six. So now we just have to worry about. Um, so this train is going to be coming from the southwest. The next train after that. Dragon's almost out. I can get the better off I'm gonna be. Everybody pull back. Don't want everybody dying for basically no reason. So now we're gonna head over here to the next attack wave. I would like to save a mobilization wave for the next set. Feels like there's a whole bunch of like units that are already turned into the um the Avenger units. It's really weird. Like I don't understand. Like sometimes I feel like they're coming out of the box avenged. <laughs> This is this is a fantastic comp for both of us.
super well played. Really, really good. This was like a clinic on how to do this one. That was good. Really, really well. I have to say, some of the comps we went up against before this were not the best for both of us, but this one, perfect. I was able to get ultras out, everything worked out super well, and that was Kerrigan on this week. Really decent commander for this week, but you gotta be careful against air comps. That's, that's the thing that she doesn't really do the most against. She has some real issues against air comps because most air comps whatever's left after you killed everything on the ground or killed all the weaker units is nothing left but the the air units and they become avengers and mutas are going to die super quick hydralis die super quick so if you can a ground comp would be better but um either way you can you can get it done anyways thanks so much for watching hunter afi i do hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and hit that like button